Hello there guys, welcome to the final episode of this season. We are very far behind for these playoffs. We are actually looking at a five point deficit of Peterborough in sixth. It's looking very unlikely uh, that we're going to achieve this. But we're going to finish the season uh, and hopefully we'll get ourselves prepared for next season when we can push on for the title and hopefully get promoted to Division 1. Um, it's financially, we're, we're in a good place. You know, 750 grand, we've got a million in the balance, that's good, because you've got to bear in mind that we'll get money at the beginning of the next season, and that will ultimately go on our transfer budget, which means we can buy more players. I might now... Do you know what? I'm going to play this first game, I'm going to get Stoke away done, because it has a potential to go incredibly wrong here if I start messing around with the team. I mean, I think it's going to go wrong anyway, because our away form is atrocious typically disallowed um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game with a normal team the next game I think is a home game where I will try a few different players out um, so I'm probably going to not play like McLeod you know Gavin Strachan I know he's on the bench but I'm going to try thinking about next season possibly giving some players that haven't had the chance this season to kind of shine you know um, give Madeira a bit of a rest possibly and just see what other players can do and contribute to the club in the final two games. I don't even know where Stoke are. Where is Stoke? Stoke, yeah, mid-table. Yeah, but yeah, it's gone. It's gone, pretty much, yeah. Um, so that's that. So playoffs are definitely out of the, out of the picture now. We haven't really got that. Um, so my aim is to basically start this squad from fresh, give players a chance against Brentford and Notts County that they wouldn't normally get the chance, uh, whether it be someone like B Matty Blinkhorn. I know he's in, he's down here. So I'm going to give this guy a chance up front to play on his own because I think he'll like that. As a 16-year-old lad, it's a great opportunity to play as well, I think. He's, he's quite a big character. You can kind of see already that he's one of these players that that wants to do well. At 16 years old, he's already looking at it as a stepping stone for his future. So that kind of gives you an idea of where the lad's brain's at. So let's have a look. Okay. So let's give Russell, Dean Gordon, not Dean Gordon, Dale Gordon, sorry. Um, Duff, I'm going to give him a rest. Ooh, let's play okay in there, yeah. <clears throat> we will we will give Tommy and Thompson a game. I'm gonna get still play Lock. I think Lock needs games. Um, I'm gonna give Milligan a game, Mackenzie a game, two attacking mids, Clarkson obviously, and I'm gonna put. Fenton in that attacking mid and Blinkhorn going up front. I'm going to have Duff, I'm going to have Hughes, I'm going to have Bullock, and I'm going to have Ormerod on the bench. So that is my team. We will try this out for a home game. We'll probably get absolutely smashed here. Um, but the players that I'm looking forward to seeing are Dale Gordon. I want to see how good he plays. I want to see how good Matty Blinkhorn plays. I want to see if Graham Fenton actually plays better in that attacking midfield role. Um, they're the three that I'm looking out for. All the others are just sort of... I mean, obviously Gary Locke as well. He's one that I want to do well. If anything, I'm playing him because I want him to get used to the players. Because he's only just joined. Okay, nil nil at half time. It's not too bad. The only problem is they're going to be tired for the next game because their stamina on this is just going to be dreadful. Um. Yeah. Is it nil nil? Nil nil. You know, I'll take nil nil. I think this is really just treating these just like friendlies. I mean, I don't know how long. The difference is now between this final game. Um, I don't know actually, but I'm a little bit disappointed with how the season ended. I thought we'd at least get playoffs at the beginning of the video. The squad that we had was incredibly strong. Let me have a look here. 
yeah, there's quite a long way, so it's the fifth. It's not County away. I wonder where they are, actually, in the league. They... Ooh. They're fighting. We could have a big say in the relegation. On relegation day there. Wrexham have gone down. Do you know what? That's actually quite close. Do you know what I might do? I might have a little look here. Cambridge... Contract expiry. Oh my god, look how many are going. Jesus. There are so many just going. They're going to be in real trouble. They've got to buy really clever next season. Andy Morrell. Oh, shite. Two grand? Christ. No, they got no one. They want, they want no one really of interest in me who's going out of contract. It's been a good adventure though. I think this 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 series has been really good. I do want to do another series. Uh, right, Duff's just gonna have to come in. I'm just gonna bring Duff in. Do you know what? I'm gonna no, I wanna play Gordon. I wanna give him a chance. Okay, yeah, same team. <coughs> Because I know that Higginbottom's going to play the majority of next season. We probably will end up getting beat here. They've got something to fight for. We don't. We're playing a pretty shit team. Yeah, there you go. Paul Bolland. It might actually keep them up, that as well. I wonder what their attendance is. They've got a big ground, Notts County. Four, oh God, 4,000. That's awful. That is awful. Their ground holds it's twenty thousand all seater. Bloody hell, man! Do you know what? I bet they've got some players. It all depends if they go down though. I think they need to win here. They could get it. No, they didn't get it. They're down. Oh my god! So contract expiry. Yeah, he's too old. He's not a bad keeper. No, Mark Dunn is on loan. No, they haven't really. To be fair, they've actually tied up their players quite well in terms of contracts. There, um, three hundred grand, not bad. You know, it's it's put us in a good position. We'll get some at the beginning of the season as well. We we kind of want to look at this. We we want to think to ourselves, who could we get? I mean, he could actually be quite good at this. Two million, though, is too much. Um, we want to look here and think to ourselves, right? Who who does want to come to us? But this is the way the season finishes. We finish tenth. Um, in the end, it was you know a seven point gap of the playoffs. We just but we lost it with the last two games, didn't we? We we gave the youngsters a go. Um, fringe players had an opportunity to shine. They didn't really do that. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That is the very first season as Blackpool. I am going to continue with this. I think that Blackpool have a lot of potential uh, next season to go up. So please come back, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching this season.